Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marco Pascariello, and I'm a master's student from the University of Naples, Federico II. And my short the aim of my short presentation here today is to show you new analysis and monitoring tools for tunneling inducing damage, analyzing the case study of St. Mary Upchurch. Let's start say that we need better tools on the analysis side because the skew of the facade as well as the tunnel advance and the horizontal ground movement are usually neglected. On the other side, monitoring tools to quantify the existing damage to understand the component of the deformation and to directly measure the damage as it's developing the, on our building. So let's introduce our case study. London Underground Bank Station is being upgraded to relieve congestion and increase its capacity. The scheme is known as Bank Station Capacity Upgrade. The tunnel passes under the northeast corner of St. Mary Up Church this medieval church is a grade one listed building and it was rebuilt by Sir Christopher Wren after being damaged by the Great Fire of London. Nowadays the engineering uh, analysis um, neglect the, the tunnel advance so at the end uh, um, they at the end, what we, what we have is the, when the tunnel is completely gone, we know those points, but what's behind them? This course represent um, the the um, uh, shape of the 60 degrees Q facade, the south facade, and the maximum value of the strain of course when the tunnel is approaching the church because it's Q. So let's move to the other facade, the 30 degrees Q facade uh, in green here. These two curves represent the greenfield solution and the soil structure interaction solution. Um, usually the analysis are carried out considering not the actual facade but the, the projection of the facade in a transversal position with respect to the tunnel advance. So uh, analyzing also that facade in the red, it's clear that um, the red line as representation of the building is completely wrong because of the increase of the damage more than two times higher and the changing of the behavior from, the, uh, from sagging uh, to hogging. So also the soil structure interaction are affected by neglect the neglection of the, um, of the skew. Uh, the analysis usually typically focus on the vertical deformation. This is one of the facades of the, of the church uh, uh, implemented in the software Abacus. And um, the analysis suggests us that the horizontal strain are the critical factor governing the behavior in this case. Further research are needed, but um, uh, if you want to think about another, uh, what, what influenced the response of the building? For sure, the existing damage. The laser scan provides us the 3D geometry of the building and uh, allow us to define the past settlement and the past, uh, the past deal that the building has suffered due to the previous underground construction. Um, this, this, uh, this plot shows the 11 centimeter settlement in the northeast corner of the, of the east facade due to the construction of the adjoined building. So um, uh, about the strain, fiber optics were installed all around the church at three different levels. Uh, as a result, we are collecting um, uh, the strain in the cable direction, so the red line in the, in, the, in the slide. And in combination with the laser scan, it's feasible to decompose the strain obtained in the horizontal and bending part. Uh, the, the strain is, is collected in real time with the advance of the tunnel and it's worth to pay attention to the existing damage because as you explained in the chart, they may lead to a localization of the incoming damages. So here two sensors uh, recorded higher strain with respect to the other it was because of the ex pre-existing crack in the part of the facade. Um, also the, the strain uh, help us to understand the building behavior. These charts show the, the strain of the three different levels of the um, fiber optic in the bay 15 in the northeast corner of the church. Although the facade is in sagging, the compressive strain is recorded. Furthermore, the bottom level strain is higher than the other, so helping us to explain the bending deformation of the facade. To sum up, using our simply tool, we can deal with tunnel advanced skew. We quantify the existing damage of the, of the building, and now we are collecting data about the pilot tunnel. So the next step is to decompose the deformation of the building and compare our analysis, uh, analysis uh, result with the field data of the enlargement tunnel. Thank you for the attention.